We're moving our homestead from Oregon to Missouri. This video is one of a couple that I'm making specifically for whoever ends up buying this place in Oregon City. Usually, when you're buying a home, you just get to see how it looks at one time of the year. Because I'm a YouTuber, I can show all four seasons. Besides that, it also shows how we've used different spaces for different animals. If you've watched our channel over the years, this may be a fun look back at how we've transformed the place. I'm hoping that it inspires some people to go back and watch some of those earlier videos. Mostly what follows is a bunch of intro sequences. I've selected them specifically to represent how this place looks at different times of the year. Each season is beautiful in its own way. Thanks for watching. On hot days like this, the most important thing is to make sure all the animals have plenty of water. We've lost animals to the heat before. We've never lost an animal because it's been too cold. There are some things we can do when the temperatures really drop low. We should make sure that quail aren't frozen. <laughs> yeah, let's say they're out here in the front where it gets a little more wind. Yeah, we'll have to uh, do the water water, water run. Can you go down any further? Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, put go. Can't get it. Ice. Yeah, we'll have to chip that out to be able to get in there. Mostly, it is just the heat that we have to worry about. Let's take a quick look and see how our garden has been doing. But these, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna have to redo it. Don't do that. I'm giving you an outtake. <laughs> You're so proud of your outtakes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so our raised beds are, <clears throat> so our raised beds are mole proof. We have hardware cloth on the bottom of them. But Wendy's in-ground garden is definitely... It's, what are you doing? I'm over here. Don't do that. Why? You're distracting me. You're waving in the gophers. You're waving them in. As I've been filling up some of these beds, Wendy has been right behind me planting her early plants in them. I'll try to come back a little later and give you a closer look. If you're watching this for the Bigfoot sighting, that will be at the end of the video.
Isn't it interesting how weeds in the wilderness can be very beautiful, but when they're on a walking path that we use every day, not quite so much. I probably spend too much time weeding this time of year, but the truth is, I really do like the look of a clean path carved out through these flowering weeds. Maybe we don't get enough sunlight to grow something like corn, but you can grow something beautiful wherever you are. It has been a really hard week. We've lost some animals. The hardest loss was Squirrel Bunny. He died unexpectedly. There weren't any signs beforehand that I could see to tell me he was struggling we were more attached to Squirrel than any of our other rabbits. I'll put together a little tribute sequence for him at the end of this video. So my idea about naming that goat Mustard Pants just was uh, vetoed by Wendy. I don't know why. I think Mr. Mustard Pants is really cute. To go along with the names for his other brothers, Frank and Oscar, we decided to name that other goat Dijon, so it's kind of like mustard pants. Come here, baby. Come on. This time it was out by our mailbox. Temperature is supposed to exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit today and tomorrow. It's not going to be quite as hot as that last heat wave, but we will be keeping a close eye on our animals.
I stuck my hand in there to feed me, feed him, and he ran across and lunged at me. Because he's evil. Yep, that's evil incarnate. Right? <laughs> he's evil. <laughs> You're so mean to me. <laughs> I do want to use as much of nature as sustainably as I can out here. Wendy's got squirrel our bunny in here because a large tree just fell partially onto our house and came really very close to hitting his cage. It's the middle of the night, it's a windstorm, and this is just kind of an unexpected, unexpected event. How are you doing? I'm asking Squirrel how he's doing. How are you doing? Squirrel's fine. I thought my rabbits were all dead because I heard the tree come down on them. I have a goat that's pregnant, and I was worried about her and all my other animals. Got scared, didn't he? No, he feels bad. We'll know more tomorrow. It doesn't look like there's very much damage to the house on, uh, you know, in the dark here, but it's hard to say. The tree did graze her car, but there's no broken windows. It's probably just some denting and maybe a little scraping along one of the back corners. So here you can see a little bit of damage on the roof. Fortunately, it looks like it's just under the eaves on the outside of the house. Just an incredible, an incredible fall of the tree that just barely clipped the car and barely clipped the house.
So it's the top of this tree here that broke off. So you can kind of see it from this angle all the way up there where the top is no longer there. This is probably the important message for the video. Appreciate your family traditions for as long as they last. We have some sad news about our quail again. We're expecting cold snowy weather. So I'm gonna move their chicken waterer, the main chicken waterer, inside the chicken coop for a few days where it shouldn't be able to freeze over. This may be the last snow event of the season. I'm kind of hoping it is. We're getting close to spring and I need to sift through and redistribute a whole bunch of compost for our raised bed garden. And this kind of cold, wet, snowy weather just isn't that comfortable to work in. So I'm looking forward to spring actually getting here. Look at this, I mean, this is lush, wonderful. Yep. Wonderful growth in here. I have never seen these, what are they, Jerusalem artichokes. They're almost, I'm guessing they're over 10 feet tall. I do have mixed feelings about this. I love this place. I always describe it as my dream home. Six months ago, I would not have believed that Ivy Acres Homestead would end up just being a stepping stone to something even better. Not 
not a day has gone by where my spirits have not been restored by the tranquility of this ravine and our little pocket of rainforest wilderness.